Hello and welcome to another video on what can you do with Ubuntu. This time we're going to be talking about what are the primary reasons to switch to Ubuntu or to use it as a secondary operating system. And what you see on my screen is probably familiar. It's one of those uh, pop-ups that you see that says, hey, you need to update your Flash Player. Fortunately, it's not a true Flash Player update. It's a virus, bioware, junkware, all of the above that wants to get into your system. It happens on on uh, sites when you're going to uh, download or watch a movie, uh, things like that. Once they get into your system, well, you know what I'm talking about. So here I was able to find one that's going to actually try to install on my system, and I'm going to give you a little video on it. So as you see uh, on the page that I clicked, this pops up, says update your Flash Player. You must, uh, uh, is that update? Of course it's not because this, if you can see the address here, this is not an Adobe uh, website. Um, Look at that. It even gives me a verbal uh, recommendation to update, I guess, in, in case I'm uh, visually impaired. So uh, let's let's go for it. Yeah, sure. Install. Go right ahead. Um, no problem. For better viewing performance, please don't download uh, download Media Player. Yeah, sure. Go right ahead. And install yourself. It's actually downloading. Um, so it actually comes down and everything. We're going to open our downloads folder. I had already done it one time already, so you see it there. And uh, let's click on it. And come on, give us give, give it a try. Unfortunately, uh, this cannot uh, penetrate or attack or affect this operating system. Reason being, uh, it was designed for Windows. And if you see, the files are just here, but they cannot install. They cannot communicate with this operating system. Um, simple explanation is uh, the viruses are written in, let's say, a language. Uh, and that language is Windows. Therefore, when you when it tries to communicate here with Linux, it's like a, an American and a Chinese person speaking. They just can't communicate. They can't get anything done. So that that's what happens here. And that's what's also the situation with Macs. Different operating system, different language. Um, and there's just not a lot of people out there making uh, viruses for Macs and uh, even less making them for uh, Linux. So here you see a live example of surfing the web and uh, being basically immune uh, to viruses. So that, that's our video for today. Uh, actually, I'm going to go into a little bit of more detail over here. Um, on primary reason to, uh, to switch to Ubuntu is to avoid all the junkware, spyware, crapware that you see all over the web. Here's a little report on Simon Tech. This is a 2013 security report. A little bit about uh, what's going on with... Uh, with uh, viruses and the internet, as you can see down here, 2010, 2011, 2012, viruses are getting worse. They're not getting any better. Attacks per day, obviously on the increase. Everything is on the increase. And if you've been using Windows for a while, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So this is your reason number one to switch to Ubuntu. Why? Safe surfing. Watch movies, click on all your links, and just be immune to viruses. I'll catch you in the next video.